We've got four game improvement iron sets today from Ping, PXG, TaylorMate, and Callaway. We've got Jackie with us today to hit some shots and compare them on TrackMan. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, a master fitter at Second Swing, and we're outside today on the driving range testing out some irons. We've got four game improvement iron sets today. We're gonna test with TrackMan technology, all new in 2021. We've got TaylorMade Sim 2 Max. We've got Ping G425, Callaway Apex DCB, and PXG 0211. All again, new in 2021. So. Jackie, I know you've been fitting customers into several of these iron sets so far this year. A pretty good year for game improvement iron sets so far in 2021. Uh, what do you think we're going to see in these tests today? Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of similarities, to be honest. Uh, but with a lot of them, I think it's going to come down to uh, how much offset they're going to have, mm -hmm. how much loft. So we're going to see a lot of different uh, disparities between launch angle, mm -hmm. uh, spin. Uh, but all in all, it'll be interesting to see kind of which one takes the cake in terms yeah. of performance. So. Yeah, for sure. I know, I mean, these are, again, kind of the most popular brands out there, really. We get a lot of comments uh, on our channel asking for comparisons of these clubs. And so um, we're throwing PXG into the mix here, too, today, which is a little bit different than what we've done on our channel. So we'll see how that stacks up. But uh, you're warmed up. You're ready to go. It's a little chilly let's out go. here. Yeah. But uh, I know you're ready to hit some shots, so let's get after it. chunky but straight okay so jackie you just hit five that was the pxg 0211 um you know what does that club look like at a dress you know what do you think of the appearance and then you know how did it feel both good strikes and bad strikes yeah i would say the look at a dress is not bad very similar actually to the t200s i have like the top line is okay i mean not as thick as i would think for a game improvement sure. club so I like that. I like the, the look at a dress. Um, the feel, a uh, little bit clicky almost is kind of, okay. yeah. Interesting. So like on my miss hits, you know, I, the first one I hit felt really good. Yeah. And then the others were, I mean, they weren't terrible, but just clicky is how I'd put it. Yeah. 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 And they weren't maybe quite in the center either. No. So that kind of probably helped with that a little bit, but yep. interesting there. So we'll just kind of quickly go over these numbers here, but um, club speed on average was 95 miles an hour. Your ball speed was just shy of 100 miles an hour. Uh, spin rate just over 6,000, carrying at 131 for 142 total on average. So um, we got maybe one bringing it down the average a little bit that missed and carried yeah. less than 120. But otherwise, you were in the 130 to 140 range with carry uh, most of the time. So. Which is pretty normal for normal me. Normal for yeah. you? Okay. All right. So done with PXG, we'll move on. Let's go with Ping G425 here. All right. I feel like that launched way higher. Oh yeah. I guess the loft is two degrees higher, two degrees more loft on it. Yeah, so. a little bit lighter too. Shaft. Is that right? It's definitely going higher. Ooh. That one was flush, wasn't it? Mm, just right. No. <laughs> Short. Not good miss hit though. That one was really good. Yeah, that's right at the target. Yeah. All right, so Jackie, ping G425. So you've hit five with the PXG 0211 and the G425 each. Um, just first give me a, a feeler on how that club looks comparatively. Do you, do you notice the two degrees of loft difference and then the uh, feel as well? Yeah, definitely knew or had addressed the loft difference right away. Um, but yeah, definitely hit it higher. Yeah off the gate so a little bit more launch there mm -hmm. um feel wise i mean feels like a ping i don't know yeah <laughs> uh but very forgiving like even on my miss hits they weren't like as bad as with the pxg i'd say off the okay. gate um feel wise like a little bit more forgiving mm -hmm. is what i would yeah i mean say with that. i will say your dispersion with the g425 much tighter yeah um, than the pxg 0211 um, your numbers are actually, I gotta say, they're very comparable. Yeah. Um, you know, your club speed is about 75 0 with the PXG uh, 0211 and 74.9 with the G425, so that's pretty good consistency. 
Ball speed is virtually the same, just under 100. Um, your spin did go up 400 RPM with the G425, likely due to loft a little bit. Yep. Um, carry distance was pretty much identical with both on average. Um, and then total distance, PXG got two extra yards. Again, probably loft related on rollout and whatnot. Yep. So numbers are pretty similar. Then the G425 did go seven feet higher in the air as we saw um, yep. on the launch there. So interesting. I mean, kind of some of the things you would expect, but uh, it seems like a little bit more stability with the G425 just based on the dispersion map. Kind of your, your, your miss hits maybe were not flying as far offline. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Now we can go to what? Do you want to do Sim 2 Max? Sure. Let's go. Huh. A little tug. That might be the farthest one today, just based on. Yeah. It seemed it, like it popped a little bit and you got yeah. a tug on it. Uh, it's off the toe a little. Not very good. Okay, so Jackie, <laughs> Taylor made Sim 2 Max. Um, that is five shots with that one. Um, what do you think about that one? I know you mentioned offset when you were hitting. How does the offset compare to the previous two models? Yeah, um, I mean, the offset was the first thing that I noticed about this one. Uh, just on a dress, definitely can tell that it's got some offset in it. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I was tugging in a little left, Yeah. you know, more than normal. Uh, generally, my ball flight is a little bit of a fade, so... Um, those ones that I was tugging left, obviously I'm getting more distance with those because of that. Yeah, so your farthest shot of the day so far actually was, yeah. I think, the first one with the Sim 2 Max, um, where you totaled, I think, what was that one? Uh, you know, 157 yards total, yeah. carry 147. So um, that was your farthest shot. And again, that's kind of deloshing the club when you pull it a little yeah. bit. But um, I mean, honestly, the, the again, the numbers are still very comparable with all three right now. Yeah. Where again, your club speed's right around 75, ball speed just under 100. Another jump and spin though at the Sim 2 Max, which is kind of interesting, uh, 67, 81 that time. So that's about 300 more than the G425 and you know, overall 700 more than the PXG 0211. So which is interesting because that's another one of the lower lofted ones here. Yeah. Sim 2 Max is 28 and a half degrees. Well, I think one of the things is uh, the shafts too. I mean, uh, we're hitting graphite, you know, mm -hmm. lighter shafts. This one, I really, I love the MMT 65 regular. It's mm -hmm. one of my favorite shafts that um, there is in that ballpark. So I can notice right away that definitely getting a little bit more spin, okay, like just off feel with sure. it. So uh, not surprised by gaining a little bit more with that. Okay, interesting. Yeah, because we're kind of we're using sort of graphite um, regular flex kind of stock shafts for each of the irons. Yeah. So it's not a perfect apples to apples well the same shaft, but interesting that you know you point that out with the spin that could be uh, a factor there. Yep. Um, but lastly here, Callaway Apex DCB. All right. That was a little left. That struck pretty well. So the Apex DCB, um, same loft as the G425, both 30 degrees. Um, what do you think about that one appearance wise? I think, I think so you mentioned, just to go back, you mentioned the PXG 0211 had a kind of a thin top line yeah. for kind of maybe this category. Yeah. Um, is that still maybe the smallest in terms of shape so far or does any of them compare? Yeah, I would say right now, yeah, the PXG is a little bit more appealing at the top line for sure. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, like this one definitely felt the best. And okay. to me, I. Can't really see where I was at, but I can guarantee it's definitely more consistent. Yeah. Uh, very probably comparable to um, what, the G425. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think the, the based on this, the two smallest circles are Apex DCB and then G425. Yeah. G425 actually is a little smaller, but yeah. um, those are both the smallest dispersion circles out there. Um, so interesting. I, by the way, you're a really good club tester because your spin, your speed is very consistent throughout. So that's good. That's good for club testing here. Um, as we look at some of these numbers, so your club speed varied from 74.2, that was the Apex DCB on average, to 75.3, the Sim 2 Max. But interesting that the Apex DCB had more spin, most spin, 69.40. Yeah. On average, um, so that did drop its distance a little bit relative to the others. So the lowest carry and total distance was the Apex DCB. But um, we look at height here, the highest, it was also the highest height on average was the Apex DCB. So again, that could be due to loft, but then 
I mean, it's, it shouldn't surprise us that G, G425 and Apex DCB are the highest launching and the highest flying yeah. irons in this test. But um, what's your what are your take on, you know, you've hit all four now. Um, you've kind of given your feedback on feel, given your feedback on how they look. Um, when you were making contact, you know, based on, you know, what you're seeing with your ball flight and what you usually see with a seven iron, what do you think from these irons? Yeah, I mean, I can definitely... Obviously, with more game improvement, you're going to have more offsets. So the offset is going to tend to go a little bit probably left of center. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously, someone that struggles to control the fade, uh, you're going to see it go a little bit straighter. So for me, I tend to hit it pretty straight already. So yeah. that was the first thing I noticed. Um, Feel-wise, uh, yeah, I, I like the feel of the G425 and the Callaway DCB just okay. a little bit better than the other two. Um, if I had to choose between the four, I definitely like the feel better of the, the Callaway. Between the G425 and the Callaway, I just like the sound a little bit better with the Callaway. Okay. Um, you know, with Ping, it has a very distinct sound, yeah. as we all know. Uh, not that that's a, you know, ending factor, but I do think that if the numbers are very similar, I, I, I like the feel of the DCB just a little bit better. Okay, interesting because, you know, we as we look at the map here, um, you know, again, Apex DCB is probably the second smallest, and mm -hmm. then the smallest would be G425. So for you, it would be kind of a, and this is where in fittings, you guys are kind of yep. talking to the customer about, okay, well, if you really like the look and feel of maybe the second best iron in performance wise, maybe that's the one that you want to go with. Yep. Um, so, and, and this, I would say Apex DCB or G425 is probably the winner out of these four irons in this test right now. Yeah. I, that's definitely something to always discuss with someone is like, the, the look and feel is definitely important. Mm -hmm. It's it's one of those things where it's confidence boosting, right? Yeah. If you don't like the look of it or the sound of it, uh, it might be a good performer on, you know, your testing shots, but ultimately when you're on the course, what are you yeah. going to be more confident with? So that's definitely a factor. You know, it's not going to be the end all be all uh, yeah. sometimes, but it's definitely something to think yeah. about. Yeah, because I mean, I am, I mean, these numbers are very, very similar across the board. I mean, your carry distance is in between 129 and 131 for all three four clubs total distance between 138 and 142 yeah. for all of them so i mean it's you know they're very comparable irons and they all have you know modern technology game improvement irons you're they're the the stability on miss hits is all there but um you know a, a, for you anyway it comes down to look and feel and there's a little bit of difference on the dispersion map here so yeah. just a bit more consistency with those two irons but um i mean any, and of course with any golfer it's gonna be maybe a little different you're gonna have disparities with the way someone else swings compared to you yeah. so that's why getting a fitting at second swing is so important absolutely yeah well golfers if you're interested in any four of these irons uh, you can schedule a fitting with a fitter like jackie at one of our store locations you can schedule an online fitting with our online fitting and support team and ultimately we just want to set you up with irons that are gr right for your swing so stop on in the second swing we'll get you set up with one of these four or any of our uh iron sets in our huge selection. So Jackie, thanks for sticking with us today in the cold weather, hitting all the shots for us. Yeah, thank you.